Let's see this question. This question is from your NCERT books but holds a wide importance. The question is like, solve 1 plus y square dx is equal to tan inverse y minus x dy, y of 0 is equal to 0, NCERT book question. Now, this question is specifically very sure that it is of linear differential equation. But how to go about this that we have to see whether this will be of your first form or second, we'll try to convert and we'll understand. So I write here solution and see here it is dx associated here it is dy if I write dx upon dy what will happen that I have to know. So what is dx upon dy? dx upon dy is tan inverse y minus x over 1 plus y square over 1 plus y square right. Now this is of negative factor let's keep it here it becomes in positive so dx by dy is equal to uh, or I am sorry dx by dy plus x upon 1 plus y square is equal to tan inverse y upon 1 plus y square. Now see is this not comparable with this general form dx by dy plus rx is equal to s where r and s are either constants or functions of y this time they are the functions of y. So what is your r? r is your 1 upon 1 plus y square you can write here compare with so your r is 1 upon 1 plus y square and what is your s this as a whole so this is tan inverse y upon 1 plus y square now is this the complete solution no actually this is the first or the second step that you have to first convert it into the general form then compare and obtain r and s you have to find out the integrating factor now what is your integrating factor like e raised to the power r dy so e raised to the power r dy means e raised to the power what is r 1 upon 1 plus y square so 1 upon 1 plus y square dy what is the integration of 1 upon 1 plus y square tan inverse y so e raised to the power tan inverse y is your integrating factor now after you have obtained your integrating factor the step should be x into integrating factor is equal to s into integrating factor into dy plus c here integration should be there very easily now let's see x multiply integrating factor so x multiply e raised to the power tan inverse y is equal to s multiply integrating factor what is s tan inverse y upon 1 plus y square so tan inverse y over 1 plus y square multiply by e raised to the power tan inverse y multiply by dy here integration also plus c now what is tan inverse y here tan inverse y is very apt if you substitute it as t because here also there is tan inverse y here also there is tan inverse y here it is 1 upon 1 plus y square which is the differentiation of tan inverse y so i write put tan inverse y is equal to t 1 upon 1 plus y square dy is equal to dt and this c can be made more close just so as to make it more clear now this can be substituted here so it is x multiply e raised to the power tan inverse y is equal to this can be substituted as t this is e raised to the power t 1 upon 1 plus y square dy is dt here it is integration plus c now see this is followed as integration by paths integration by paths wherein you can follow i let inverse trigonometric function logarithmic function algebraic function trigonometric function and exponential so this should be the last one this should be the first one now what should be the integration like first function into integration of second minus differentiation of first differentiation of t with respect to t is 1 into integration of second and whole integration is also this only plus c but is this the answer no because t should not be there in the answer t is what tan inverse y so it is x multiplied by e raised to the power tan inverse y is equal to e raised to the power tan inverse y multiply tan inverse y minus 1 plus c what i've done is i've just taken e raised to the power t common as well as in the same step i have substituted back the value of t 
and that gives me the final answer to this question which is x multiply e raised to the power tan inverse y is equal to e raised to the power tan inverse y whole multiply by tan inverse y minus 1 plus c which is the constant of integration.